Okay, fuck it. We're doing it. <laughs> We're getting into it. Look at us. <laughs> okay, so obviously... We know what's going on with Diddy and Cassie, but that's settled. So we're gonna get into some shit surrounding all of this, you know? Some people are saying Diddy is just an overprotective, over-friendly guy to certain people, while others are calling him the gay hip-hop boogeyman. When you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you put my bag daddy, here. I like when you, oh, oh, when you right scrambling here, right and scraping for no, no, no. shit. A very confident Diddy says to Noriega, I love it when you're like this, Daddy. I love when you're scrounging and scraping and scrambling and shit. Obviously, Noriega knows what that lingo means as he's doing the scrambling and scratching and scraping and shit. It's no secret that Diddy refers to certain men as Daddy. Did you miss me though, for real? Here's a very helpless fat at this moment. Looks a bit frightened. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? Um, uh, yeah, we. And we see Fab starts to stutter. Um, uh, yeah, we, we. Da 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 damn. <laughs> Sorry. Then we have a man claiming that he witnessed Diddy dangling Wale over a balcony for being in the studio with Cassie. Wale responds like a noble poet. The slow demise of authentic journalism. I used to pray for gullible. Now I'm scared of him. Wild times. Did he hang you off of there? I'm about to slow demise of the journalist. Did he hang you off of there? Damn. Now from just looking at this picture, people would assume that Diddy and Meek had something going on or whatever. In my opinion, it's not the shirts. It's the way Meek is posing, you know, but he does that. It's always Meek's pose, you know, cause here we see a very arched Meek on the side of the pool. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that- He looks a little distressed, like he's been scrambling and scraping and <laughs> ouchy. Diddy in this video refers to Meek as daddy, putting in that work. Again, no secret to that. Now this one is very interesting. Not arenas and everything, starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, we're all thinking the same thing. I know. I know. Why the fuck would you be hanging out with him? <laughs> but we cannot negate the fact that young Justin Bieber was around Usher as well. Nothing there. Interesting footage of Diddy getting a haircut. When I was. Uh Man, DJ, DJ, give me, give me the thing, man. I'm love now, y'all, so, you know, back in the day, somebody may have got thrown out the window for that shit, but not yet, not no more. I just handled it with grace. We saw the diddler about to come out, didn't we? <laughs> shit. <laughs> Diddy allegedly pressured Cassie to get breast plants in 2009 and then forced the surgeon to take them out and redo them one week post op because he didn't like the results. I think what we're all missing here is who's the doctor? <laughs> and is he still a doctor, right? <laughs> what? In the middle of all this drama, we have DJ Academics, Rosie O'Donnell, body built, wide hip, lumberjack, dyke shaped ass, tweeting to Young Miami. Young Miami, your loud ass ain't tweeting four days. Come on, don't make it this obvious. But what the fuck she gonna say? Yeah, period? Like, what the fuck? He ain't do 